Hello wonderful people, I am Vishwa and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this Playground AI tutorial, I will demonstrate how you can create stunning text effects using control traits, just like these examples. These are amazing, right? So without any more delay, let's get started. So you can see I have already opened the website playgroundai.com. I will provide the link of this website in the description and we are going to use canvas. I have already created one video on canvas. So if you are not aware about canvas, you can watch that. Uh, you can find a link in the description of this video. Uh, we are not going to use any filter in the negative prompts. Exclude from image. You can add here negative prompts. I have just written this deformed nothing in control traits now we will first just paste the prompt so click on this fourth option of generation frame here in the text box of generation frame just paste the prompt I will provide all the prompts negative prompts in the description if you want you can follow along here uh, image dimensions I will keep this only 1024 into 704 uh, prompt guidance uh, 8 quality and details 40 I will keep just tick here number of images I will make it 4 and the sampler Euler ancestral that is the Euler A now I will just click on generate text saying Vishwa Neon Cyber Punk, grudge cinematic cinematic touch yeah we got the output pretty good output with swa h is missing only this is the correct spelling but can you see like whatever uh, text we had written like neon cyberpunk in that style we got this text effects this is really cool you can do the same now what i will do i'll just add one image text image you can also do the same like if you have any text okay and you want to add the text effect on that text so you can just uh, upload the image of that text here so here on the top here is the option to insert so from computer so I got the image you can zoom in and zoom out here is the plus and minus symbol you can use that so now we will add the text effect to this text so we are going to use this second last option here uh, to add the text effects here I'll just uh, select this edit manually now the text is uh, free delivery okay so let's imagine that free delivery poster we, are, we want to create uh, which deliver the vegetables anything what we want okay uh, I'm just erasing some part. I'll just increase the brush size. Just painting it and writing down here uh, the instruction like add vegetables, milk and bread and now clicking on generate. So according to your need, you can add anything, whatever you want. Can you see whatever we asked for? I'll again click on this tool and here is the one more tool, auto segment object. So I'll just click on that. With the help of this tool, we can select one particular alphabet, particular part. So once you click on that, first it loads the complete image. Then if we move the cursor over the image then we can see it automatically selects so i'm just selecting this thing i want to replace this with vegetable okay add vegetables generate yeah can you see they added the vegetables this is great right now i want to add some effect here so what i will do i'll just uh, click on this edit manually here i'll just decrease the size i have just zoom it so that i can properly do it and now i'll just uh, do like this just erase this kind you can change the color as well okay i want to add the effect add fire flames and now just clicking on generate there is something is wrong i'll just try it one more time make fire flames effect generate i don't know what is wrong if you just do like this and generate that usually works but i don't know why it's not working now see uh, here it created the fire like this you can do i'll just show you the another thing control traits what i will do i will just select the image right click on mac control and tap use as a control trait you can see and here we will take 150 we can create more images like this okay i'm selecting again four fire and this thing generate we got this result can you see this is really amazing the text effect uh, i just added add fire flame effect okay here it did not come but uh, this is very good here likewise you can do that add the text effects so whatever text effect you want to add you can just explain that here like i did uh, let's add depth as well okay now we explore the edge i'll just add the depth as well i will add this image only control tab on mac and right click on windows then use as a control trait i'm deleting one off then here i'm just choosing depth and making it 10 so that it will be uh, visible now let's see i have added and now i'll just generate now i'll keep the effect same the prompt same generate i think now on the foreground like let me just see on the foreground uh, in that image just the uh, these things are visible if i can show you see using this thing only creating the image that's why what i'll do i'll just remove this try with this one okay use as a control trait and selecting that let me see now the depth is there there's no matter you can see the depth added to this images yeah here you can see so the text part is highlighted so using this part the image will be created now i'll just uh, keeping the same and clicking on generate 
uh, if you're not uh, getting the control trades thing i have already uploaded one uh, complete video on control trades in that i have covered the basic thing so you can watch that video this is better and the depth is added here if you can see see here the depth is added so this is not that good looking but uh, i just want to show you that uh, how we can work out here and try different things so if you explore more you'll understand this has a depth now i'm just removing this uh, i'll just try one more prompt now we will just try creating the logo this is the prompt i'm just clicking on generate the prompt is create a logo for a high end jewelry brand named art deco lux use an art deco inspired font with metallic effects and elegant cinematic touch see we got this logo i'll just zoom it and show you so art deco jewelry lux the size is not of logo what i'll do i'll just try a logo of 512 by 512 i'll just put here 512 by 512 and now again clicking on this generate so you understood like whatever we explained there we got that kind of similar design and this is good if you don't like so you can just try regenerating and you will get a more variations of that so you can always use the depth edge and you can add the different text effect like i told you using this second last tool this one yeah so this is beautiful this one see this one this one this three are very good if you want to modify some things you can add okay if you want to erase so you can do that as well let's try one more mm, just increasing the size generate so it's a tribal theme poster for a music festival called tribal beats the text uh, should be bold and geometric with a rustic texture and a cinematic vibe so basically this is a poster so you can create poster logo or any text effect here see this is something different right something interesting yeah i like it you can see the tribal beat according to your need you can just put the prompt revise what are the things we did so first of all we tried out this thing this neon style uh, text of my name and this is also very good after that we added this image and we tried adding all these things this fire and then we just used the edge control trait and we add the uh, fire here the fire text effect and this uh, this is really good after that this depth as well and then this logo we tried and these are good these three are good after that we tried this poster tribal beat poster so that's all for now i hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to show your support by hitting the like and subscribe button in the next video i'll show you how you can create a variety of anime images like this thank you so much for watching see you in the next video